So as the title suggests, we're going to show you the top 5 diagnostic tools for your car under £150. We'll also show you some multi-vehicle tools but these will generally come in over the £150 budget. We've personally tried and tested all of these tools, so we do believe we're in a good position to advise you of the best tools for your vehicle. Now in the description and in the pinned comment section, you'll find a link to where you can buy these tools online, and we recommend buying only through these links. This means you'll be buying from a trusted source where all tools are genuine products and you need to be aware of fake and clone units on the market, because they do exist. So let's take a look at the top 5 tools for your vehicle. So we're looking at handheld tools for your Ford vehicle and um, what we're going to be doing is looking at the cheapest tool right the way through to the most expensive tool and right in the middle here we have a different range of um, system coverage and vehicle coverage and I'll come to that as we work our way through the tools itself. Um, I'm going to put an email address in the description below this video as well so if you do have any further questions then by all means send an email to the email address in the description below this video. We're starting with the iCarsoft FD version 1.0 uh, or FDV 1.0 as it's also known. This tool um, will allow you to diagnose the main systems in your vehicle. So let's say for example, you need to diagnose uh, a check engine light, an airbag, ABS, transmission light. It'll also cover oil service resets as well. Um, in some cases, depending on the vehicle, it will also cover other systems such as air conditioning, power steering, convertible top if it's a convertible. But double check by using that email address in the description below this video. So this is the, this is the, it's not a basic tool, but it's the, uh, it's the lower end tool. If, you know, if all you have is a check engine light or an ABS light that you need to diagnose, then there's no problem with just picking up this kit because it will perfectly serve your needs. Uh, then moving on, we're looking at the iCarsoft US version 2.0 kit. This kit will do everything that this kit will do, but it does have a few additional functions as well. Um, the additional functions that it covers, again, does depend on the specific vehicle. So if you want to double check that it's a specific function is suitable for your vehicle, use the email address as I mentioned earlier. But the additional functions, in summary, uh, we're looking at injector coding, ABS brake bleeding, uh, new battery registration, DPF regeneration, electronic throttle control, oil service and brake service reset, steering angle sensor calibration. So it does cost a little bit more, but it does do more functions and it covers more systems and functionality. Uh, then we move on to the iCarsoft EU Pro Kit. Now this kit here will do everything that these two kits, they do look the same in, in, in box actually, uh, but they are different. This is the EU Pro. It will do everything that these kits will do, but it will do it for other European manufacturers. So let's say you have a Ford in your in your family, but you also have a BMW, an Audi, um, a Mercedes, something like that, then this kit will do that. Again, no, it's gonna cover everything as I mentioned in these tools here. So that's a good pick, that's a popular tool. Another really popular option, and this is probably my, uh, my preferred option, my recommended pick, it's the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit. This will do everything that all of these tools will do, but it will do it for all manufacturers. So it'll cover all of the American markets like Chrysler, Dodge, Chevrolet, GMC. It'll also cover the Asian markets. So it's gonna do here, uh, sorry, Hyundai, Kia, Nissan, Mitsubishi, Mazda, Toyota, um, anything, well, there's probably loads more that I've missed. Mitsubishi, I think I said that. But in, in a nutshell, it covers all of the manufacturers, basically, apart from the supercars like Lamborghini and Ferrari, etc. Uh, but this is my recommended pick simply because I feel it represents the best value for money. Um, you get a lot of system coverage uh, for a good price. There's other tools on the market that will do less system coverage and less functionality for more money. So this is the top pick, this is the recommended pick. But in, obviously it, it all depends on your specific needs and your specific vehicle. Uh, last up but not least is the Autel MD808 Pro Kit. And now Autel are generally seen as the market leader when it comes to all, uh, diagnostic tools. That's because they've been around for a long, long time. Um, iCarsoft are fairly new in the game, but they're making, you know, they're making great strides in order to sort of match Autel's quality and performance in the in the, the very, very nearly there. 
Um, but this kit covers all cars, it covers all systems with additional functions like service reset, brake reset, electronic park and brake, DPF, steering angle sensor, uh, throttle control. One thing to note though is that this kit doesn't do injector coding and it doesn't do ABS brake bleeding. Uh, but the tool you ultimately go for does depend on your specific needs, your specific vehicle, if you're looking to cover one vehicle or more vehicles. You know, as I say, if you only have a, an, an airbag light to diagnose, then there's no problem with just picking up this kit. But if you've got an airbag light on one car, maybe a check engine light on another car and an ABS light on another car, then you might be better off choosing one of these. These, these, the beauty of these kits is that it will allow you to diagnose maybe your friends, your relatives, uh, and even one eye on your future cars. It means you won't have to buy another tool when it comes to getting your next car, if you're thinking that far ahead. Um, but as I say, if you're still unsure as to which tool to go for, please drop us an email. The email address is in the description below this video. And um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been helpful for you. And so thanks for watching.